Good morning, and thank you for enjoying it with the six-pack, the Scotty six-pack, your one-stop shop for all things Wisconsin sports. I'm your host, Kendrick Summers. I cover the Wisconsin Badgers for Athlon Sports. Uh, good morning. It is nice to see everybody um, in a metaphorical sense, of course. Look, it's obviously been a minute. Um, man, uh, it is October 1st. Uh, September did a number on me. <laughs> um I think as most of you should probably know, um, I finally, after five years, uh, caught COVID. Uh, so that was a fun start to September. Um, and you know, didn't test positive, haven't tested positive for weeks and weeks. Um, but still was not hundred percent with my lungs and my voice made it really hard to record podcasts for a while. That's why you may not have seen me on snap the pigskin either, uh, trying to recover from that as well as a couple of other things going on in my life that I can't quite talk about yet. Um, but things that impacted my ability to stick on schedule here and, and keep doing things, things got in the way. Uh, hopefully I'll have some things to share on that front soon. Uh, but also exciting things to hopefully share on, um, the front of being able to create great content for y'all moving forward again, uh, hopefully some other exciting news on its way. Uh, just dotting some eyes, crossing some T's, uh, on that. Uh, but let's, let's quickly catch up on Wisconsin football, Wisconsin basketball, uh, some hockey. Uh, this is, this is a big week, big week coming up, uh, for all, all three of those programs, uh, in, in Badger land. And yeah, the, the Packer game happened and we're not going to talk about that necessarily today. Um, the Brewers playoff push starts today as well, not playoff push, the Brewers first playoff series against the New York Mets. Uh, starts today, and that's also very exciting. And we'll keep tabs on that on this show as much as we can as well. Uh, but it's it's a big week in, in those other sports. So we're, we're going to be jam-packed here trying to do as much as we can. The Brewers uh, play today uh, j just after 4.30 p.m. against the New York Mets in Milwaukee. Um, but I want to catch up, let you all know what I, I have been up to. Um, got new stuff up over on Athlon Sports. Those pieces are linked in the podcast description. And there's going to be a lot of stuff going up there this week. Uh, as I am headed between Madison, Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, all week long covering the Wisconsin Badgers for Athlon Sports, and we'll have new pieces up there. Uh, so want to catch you all up with what is, what is going on uh, this week as a little bit of a preview uh, so that you have a reason to go ahead, uh, hit me, follow me, hit me, <laughs> smack me. Uh, no, hit, hit me on, on the website, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, follow me at Kedrick Stummers, K-E-D-R-I-C-K-S-T-U-M-B-R-I-S. Um, and click my link in the podcast description that has my latest story uh, up on Athlon Sports. You'll always be able to find that there. And this week is a huge week for the Wisconsin Badgers football program, of course, uh, com coming off of a disastrous loss in which you get shut out um, in, in the second half by USC, in which you do not come close to scoring points, in which the Wisconsin Badgers only amass one drive uh, of four, uh, one drive of more than four plays in the second half. Uh, the Badgers drive chart looked like punt, turnover on downs, punt, punt, pick six, turnover on downs in the second half. Really not good. Now you get a chance to bounce back against a team in Purdue that the program has not lost to since 2004. Uh, and that opportunity could not come at a you know, better time to change the narrative around the Wisconsin football program. And as a little bit, of a preview. I am hoping uh, to have a guest on this show tomorrow. Uh, again, dotting some I's, crossing some T's there. Uh, if not tomorrow, then Thursday, um, where we're going to have a bit of a conversation about the Wisconsin Badgers football program. Um, and I imagine it's going to be a larger conversation uh, in terms of scope uh, rather than just focusing on that USC game. But I think the USC game is, of course, um, a data point that everybody is coming back to again and again right now. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to provide a slightly different perspective uh, than I think some others have in this space so far, uh, at least according to the preliminary conversations I've had uh, with this guest. And this is a fun week um, for me previewing my week and letting y'all know what I'll, I'll be up to. Um, I am headed to, if you're listening to this on Tuesday, October 1st, I'm headed to Madison today uh, and we'll be doing uh, player interviews with 
folks for the football program after practice wraps up this afternoon um, and covering the program in the press box on Saturday. And yeah, what a tumultuous time to get that assignment um, over for all Badgers in Athlon Sports. Gonna be a fun week. Um, if some of the rot of the online fan base and of the alums of the program has reached into the locker room, we're going to start having a better idea of that um, today at interviews. Now, do, do I think that the program is going to send out any, mm, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, any aggrieved players? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think we're going to get the happy soldiers, of course, as we always do. Uh, however, um, if any of those happy soldiers sound like they have a little bit of doubt, um, that's going to be, you, you should think about and magnify that, I, in my opinion, uh, because they're they're going to send out the happiest of soldiers. Uh, and if even the happiest of soldiers are a little perturbed, um, that's not great for the program. Uh, so a very fun week um, ahead of this game against Purdue on Saturday. Uh, so hoping to have some some notes, some notable nuggets uh, out of interviews later this afternoon that I'll be able to share on the podcast, but definitely we'll be sharing them uh, over on Athlon Sports. And you'll be able to find that piece, of course, linked in the podcast description or by following me on the website, formerly known as Twitter at Kendrick Um So we're talking about that this week. Uh, additionally, uh, coming up this week, I am really ramping up college basketball coverage. Um, on Thursday, I'll be headed uh, down toward the Big Ten HQ uh, in Rosemont, Illinois, for Big Ten basketball media days for the men's basketball teams, uh, all 18 teams in the new Big Ten attendance. Uh, hopefully being able to get some nuggets out of there, hopefully being able to get some interviews out of there uh, for you all that we can share on the podcast in, in, in full, uh, too. So that would be really exciting if we can get that done. Um, if not there, uh, also headed to open practice for the basketball program on Friday afternoon. So lots and lots coming up there. Uh, basketball season is going to be here before, you know, it, in, in just a month, it's October now. So we are, we are full go ahead to college basketball season. Uh, and it's going to be full steam ahead in that department, basically from now to mid March, April, um, just a super exciting time of year when all, all of these sports start to start to overlap, uh, obviously a very busy time of year. Um, but I, I I'll be headed out um thursday for that um in rosemont as well as um on friday to um open practice in which look i think the basketball program is doing all it can all it can to convince folks that this is going to be a competitive team in, in the big 10. Uh, I think they are optimistic about what they added in, in the transfer portal. And I think they have reason to be, uh, and we'll, we'll dive more, more into that. But I, look, I think this is it. I, I, I think this is a team that has the potential to surprise people in the big 10 this year. Um, and look, obviously that season ended with a lot of really negative feelings. Um, but if they can get out to a hot start, those negative feelings are going to go away really, 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 really quickly. Um, so hopefully we'll have lots of good content coming out of Big Ten Basketball Media Days on Thursday uh, and open basketball practice on Friday uh, with some things to share about how those new players are looking. Um, Xavier Ramos, Sean Sanjay, Cameron Hunter. Going to get some big additions from from young players, from Daniel Freitag. Uh, I think we need to expect a big jump from John Blackwell. Should be an exciting year, and I'm getting excited to uh, start covering it. And then uh, lastly, I, I am also headed to um, Madison today for women's hockey practice. Um, availability there uh, was covering the game this past weekend uh, for the season opener against Lindenwood, uh, in which the Badgers tied an NCAA all-time record for most goals scored in a period um, with eight. And they did that in just over 11 minutes, uh, not even the full 20 minutes of play. Uh, two different stretches in the first 11 minutes where the Badgers scored on three consecutive shifts. Um, yeah, that was uh, a, a, a drubbing. Um, and uh, it should not be a surprise. Um but the Wisconsin women's hockey team is going to be really good this year. They're, they're going to be really, really good. And that's not to say they are a runaway favorite by any means to win the national title, to win their eighth national title, which uh, would add on to their already seven most all time of any uh, women's program in the country, regardless of division. But 
after a week one skid by Ohio State defending national champions, um, Wisconsin is the consensus number one, number one in both polls uh, in the USA Today uh, poll as well as the USCHO poll. And th- they're going to have a chance to, to prove their their battle this weekend against Boston College um, in Boston. Um, and that's a team that's receiving votes in the poll. Uh, it's not a top 25 poll, uh, top 15 poll. So um, good, good team. Good team, um, but Badgers uh, didn't lose many contributors. Um, lost Maddie Wheeler, which which hurts. Um, and she's playing on Ohio State's number one line right now. Both wingers on Ohio State's top line um, are <laughs> our former Wisconsin Badgers who transferred out. So that that stings. Um, and you lose uh, former captain Britta Curl to the PWHL. Uh, went professional after exhausting her eligibility. Uh, but these freshmen that the Badgers added, they're, they're going to be big contributors. Uh, Emma Venuzio on defense, uh, Finley McCarthy, uh, Hannah Helverson, and, um, and, and Maggie Scannell, um, on forward. Those three forwards are, were listed uh, on the fourth line to start the year. And it's, it's not going to stay there. It, it's, it's just not, uh, I think Maggie Scannell is going to jump out and be an absolute star. Uh, she had, she had a goal, uh, on night one and, and could have had two, three more, uh, it was all around the net, make, making plays all every single, to tell you how excited you, you should be about these freshmen. Um, every single one of them had points in their collegiate debut, every single one of them. And yeah, that's easy to do when you score 16 goals in game, or was it 12 goals in game, whatever it was. Um, but every single one of them having points in their first game up in action, uh, especially given the fact that three of them were just straight up playing on a line together. You don't have veteran help. That's big. That's going to be big, big, big for this team. Um, that look certainly has some questions on the back end. I, I, I still think, um, on, on defense a little bit, but they just might be able to outscore, outscore any team, any team in the country. Um, and their first test is going to come this weekend against Boston college should be, should be really exciting. Uh, so I was happy to do that, uh, last, last weekend, uh, and headed out there, uh, to practice uh media availability talk with coach johnson talk with some other players uh today um so that's what that's what i'm headed to today so uh coming up this week on the show in, in total what, what i want to preview is and give you a little bit of what, what i'm up to uh because that's going to inform the coverage and what what you're going to be hearing um on on this show moving forward um today tuesday i, I am headed to madison for women's hockey player interviews uh as well as football player interviews so hopefully we'll have some nuggets out of football practice today uh, to be able to share with you on, on the show uh, for Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday, hoping to get a guest on this show. Um, maybe that actually gets published Friday morning, uh, just depending, uh, because I also want to get a little bit of a preview of what I'm hoping to learn at uh, Big Ten Basketball Media Days that I'll be attending on Thursday out to you and hopefully have that out to you some, sometime this week before I head there. Um, and then obviously give you a little bit of content out of Big Ten Basketball Media Days uh, and what what that all looks like for me, what what I think we learned uh, from there, and hopefully being able to give you some some interview content, full-length interview content uh, with Coach Guard or some, um, other players, depending on who who might be available. Um, and then Friday, head to uh, men's basketball practice, hopefully giving you some nuggets about who who's shining uh, from, from that game, or from that game, in, in those practices, who, who is impressing, and being able to give you a little bit of detail there. And then on Saturday, uh, I'll... I'll be headed to Madison uh, to cover the Wisconsin Badgers against Purdue game. Uh, of course, an 11 a.m. kick in Camp Randall. Uh, so should be able to get you some some good stuff out from there. So it should be a big week over at Athlon Sports. Uh, linked in the podcast description. My latest piece always there. And, you know, uh, looking forward to doing it. Looking forward to being back. Uh, very glad to have my voice almost at 100%. Uh, just getting better every day. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to share a little bit more on, you know, uh, why, why we had to take uh, a little bit of a break, um, here due to some, um, pending, pending circumstances. <sighs> um, but until we get back to you about that all again, very soon, uh, stay tuned to the feed of the Scotty six pack podcast. I'm your host, Kendrick Summers. I covered the Wisconsin Badgers for Athlon sports. You can find me on the website, formerly known as Twitter at Kedrick Stumbrus. And 
Follow the podcast at Scotty Sixpack for the latest updates in Wisconsin sports. If you are listening to this on your podcast platform of choice, please leave a review. Five stars, kind comments really, really, really does help the show. You can also watch this show on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Scotty Sixpack. Until we talk to you all again tomorrow on Wisconsin.